let us discuss about voltage regulation now basically we entered into first phase ideal machine analysis uh, second phase modeling of practicalities third phase like you know for the equivalent circuit we tried to find out the parameter values the final phase is going to performance analysis in performance analysis let us start with voltage regulation okay in voltage regulation why to calculate voltage regulation like you know in detail like you know it's a very lengthy topic okay anyway from there problems cannot be found okay because our target is simplified machines for gate 2020 so for uh, after 2020 for 2021 i will give detailed uh, analysis okay anyway means in a simple way for example if i have a generator this is going to be generator for a generator output voltage will come output voltage will come okay now for example if this no load if this current is zero load current is zero how much will be the voltage now if load current is increased to full load or maybe in between half full load or anywhere like you know how this particular voltage vary vary we should know okay so like you know uh, my external characteristics we can say depending upon the load value of current voltages vary vary that variation should be known that is nothing but voltage regulation okay now in a transformer also transformer from primary if you see primary will take the power from uh, source like a motor and from secondary side it is delivering electrical form of power to the load like a generator so transformer is a machine like you know if you see the transformer from input point of view like you know from source point of view primary point of view you can compare that with induction motor and transformer from secondary point of view if you see which is delivering electrical form of power so it's a generator it's generators which can be compared with synchronous generator or alternator okay now for a transformer also for example, let me think of approximate equivalent circuit. Let me refer my equivalent total leakage impedance to secondary. For example, this is going to be ZE, RE plus JXE. And this is R0 and this is X0, which is being connected across voltage source of V1 okay now the moment v1 if across the across it is connected for example even if it is taking no load current here will there be any voltage variation because of this no load current no because it is infinite source okay so this particular voltage waveform or amplitude and frequency nobody can change is the primary assumption why we have to take that primary assumption there is a like you know analysis is there but anyway from that analysis again problem cannot come okay our target is gate 2020 now because of this current means this particular voltage will not vary now for example if this particular current i2 is zero i2 is zero then what will happen directly e2 will be the induced voltage internally induced voltage as current is zero impedance uh, what is voltage drop will be zero so directly e2 will come okay now for example if i2 is non-zero if i2 is non-zero under that condition voltage drop will appear across this so because of the voltage voltage drop across this e2 minus drop is going to be v2 now so this v2 is going to vary or not yes now e2 to v2 variation with respect to the load component of current is nothing but voltage regulation we can say okay now basically in voltage regulation calculations shunt branch will not play any role will not play any role because because of the shunt branch current voltage variations will not happen across the secondary so shunt branch is not going to be considered at all so for our like you know voltage regulation this part is sufficient because this uh, series branch or leakage impedance drop only will influence the terminal voltage variations now my voltage regulation equation if you see voltage regulation okay basically the definition say magnitude of magnitude okay it's not like you know complex form magnitude of voltage drop from no load to any specified load in a given with a given power factor okay expressed as percentage of rated voltage is nothing but voltage regulation for a distribution transformer now let me tell you one thing between distribution transformer and power transformer okay in distribution transformer directly loads will be connected for example for your home supply will come okay that supply will come out of distribution transformer okay now that distribution transformer output voltage is going to vary 
for example if you switch on your ac then only that particular ac load will be there upon the distribution transformer if you switch off your ac means loading will not be there because of your ac okay so distribution transformer output voltage output voltage is going to be variable basically distribution transformer in the sense my load component of current i2 will be decided by the load theta 2 also will be decided by the load only for example if you think of power transformer okay power transformer diversification factor will be more okay means power transformer in the sense at least okay forget about diversification factor catchment area will be more okay for example for your uh, hometown in our in your hometown that particular power demand is being served by one big power transformer for example now if you switch off your ac somebody may switch on his motor if somebody switch off his motor some industry might start okay so because of that load variations will be very less in power transformer okay now load variations will be high in distribution transformer load variations will be very less in power transformer one thing let me add alternator also here okay for alternator once it is connected with the infinite bus national grid okay for example i'm from hyderabad okay maybe telangana okay if i have one power generating station here once it is connected with national grid okay complete telangana may not be in need of power maybe haryana may be in need of power or maybe Tamil Nadu maybe might be in need of power. So once it is connected with the national grid, my alternator always operated full load only. Okay, because catchment area for alternator is going to be all over India once it is connected with infinite bus. Okay, so let me conclude this. For distribution transformer, load variations will be high. Okay, and for power transformer, load variations will be very less. In the sense, power transformer almost always operated full load. And if you think of alternator, alternator always operated full load okay now in defining voltage regulation also voltage regulation also no load to any load because my distribution transform may work at any load okay i cannot say distribution to basically one problem here like your mini textbooks say that no load to full load no load to full load no load to full load no okay no load to full load will be there only for alternator or no load to full load can be set for power transformer because alternator and power transformer almost always operate at full load only but distribution transformer voltage regulation should not be defined from no load to full load it should be decide uh, what do you say defined from no load to any load okay my distribution transform may work at half full load condition okay so in that condition i have to calculate voltage regulation or voltage terminal voltage variations at half full load conditions only okay now voltage regulation equation if you see no load voltage minus any load voltage divided by rated voltage the moment i use any load means that it is meant for distribution transformer okay for example if i use no load voltage minus full load voltage because alternator and power transformer always operated full load almost divided by rated voltage will give you for power transformer power transformer okay so this is one clarity but one more clarity about the rated voltage we have to discuss okay let me think of for example Previously, we have taken one transformer that is 10 kVA to 2500 volts by 250 volts transformer, just like that. Okay, now is it power transformer or distribution transformer? Many guys actually, in the way how we have to analyze, okay, means for me it can be either distribution transformer or power transformer. Okay, for example, this is the nameplate details given. Nameplate details given, for example, this is the V1 2500 volts this is going to power transformer sorry power distribution transformer now if I have for example taps for example if I have taps and if I mean if I keep on vary the taps such that output voltage is maintained at 250 volts even at full load current conditions even at full load current conditions then it will become power transformer power transformer because in a power transformer power handling capacity of the machine is going to be damn high so the moment power handling capacity is high it is viable to keep like you know on load tap changer now if you think of distribution transformer in case of distribution transformer on load tap changer will not be there 
okay directly it will be there like this so if i maintain 20 to uh, 2500 volts here okay now means at no load conditions it will be 250 volts okay now depending upon the load current any load see here it, it is full load it is any load now depending upon the load current and power factor 250 minus drop is going to be v2 is going to be variable okay so in a power transformer in a power transformer independent of loading conditions in the sense independent of load component of current or power factor terminal voltage can be maintained constant at rated because this is the nameplate detail okay so terminal voltage can be maintained constant independent of loading conditions at rated voltage by maintaining or by changing the taps that is power transformer now if the same nameplate detail is like you know referring to distribution transformer in case of distribution transformer like you know 250 volts will be the no load voltage and depending upon the load terminal voltage will vary terminal voltage will vary that is going to be distribution transformer okay so what is the conclusion here means in power transformer in power transformer terminal voltage will be maintained constant but internally induced voltage is going to vary so by varying this by varying taps by varying this we will try to maintain this as constant that is power transformer and in case of distribution transformer internally because distribution transformer is a small machine which will handle small capacity of machine for that it is not viable to keep on line on load tap changers okay so we have to think of rated voltage what is rated voltage rated voltage is nothing but nameplate detail voltage okay so nameplate detail voltage is this nameplate detail voltage is this so the moment this is the nameplate detail voltage for example rated voltage here in our uh, distribution transformer and power transformer rated voltage rated voltage now this rated voltage this rated voltage should be full load voltage independent of loading condition here we are going to maintain constant at what do you say nameplate detail so we have to consider this now in case of distribution transformer the same rated voltage the same rated voltage will be e2 v2 is going to be variable and if you think of power transform v2 is constant e2 is going to be variable okay now people may be confused in the given exam like you know in the given question in the exam should i take e2 as see here e2 as rated voltage or v2 as rated voltage very simple if they give V2, take V2 as rated. If they give E2, take E2 as, uh, E2 as rated. For example, if they give E2 and if they want uh, you to find V2, take E2 as rated. Because that is going to be distribution transformer. If they give V2 and if they ask you to find E2, means that it should be a power transformer. Take rated voltage of this. Okay. So, you need not bother. Depending upon the question, we can see. Very soon, we are going to enter into questions. Then, automatically, you will understand. So, means for power transformer, voltage regulation equal to E2 minus V full load divided by V full load into 100% for power transformer. And the same is going to be no load voltage E2 minus any load voltage any load voltage v2 v2 divided by no load voltage e2 is going to be for distribution transform because for distribution transform no load voltage is given and rated voltage is going to vary okay now once you get this clarity okay and the voltage regulation equation can be derived and like you know the derivation part is not at all required trust me is not at all required okay just let me take the equation from equation point of view only, let me discuss about maximum voltage regulation and zero voltage regulation. For example, let me think of voltage regulation here. Voltage regulation here, equation would be I2 RE2 by E2 cos theta2 plus or minus I2 XE2 by E2 sin theta2. Okay, I know the derivation part here, but you know, let us concise. Let me concise much. Okay. See here, E2, E2 I have taken, but don't think it is no load voltage or it is full load voltage. It is just like, you know, for a distribution transformer, I have written this equation by considering this as no load. But in solving the problems, we are going to take power transformer also. For sure, you are going to get the clarity. Now, for example, this, this is going to be plus is meant for lagging power factors and minus is meant for leading power factors okay let me rewrite this if i2 is full load 
If I2 is full load, IFL RE2 by E2 cos theta 2 plus or minus. IFL is nothing but IBS only, you know. If I want to calculate voltage regulation at full load, voltage regulation at full load, okay. IFL RE2 by E2 cos theta 2 plus or minus. IFL is nothing but base value already we have seen. Base value is nothing but full load current only. So I base. I base into x e2 by what is e2 rated voltage only, you know? Okay, so whether it may be no load voltage or full load voltage, it is rated voltage, nameplate detail voltage. Rated voltage is nothing but base value of voltage. So V base now V base by I base is going to be Z base, x e2 by Z base is going to be x e per unit. So this is going to be R e same, no same R e per unit cos theta 2 plus or minus x e per unit sin theta 2 okay now in this case like you know let me calculate voltage regulation at half full load half full load half full load in the sense ifl by 2 ifl by 2 or i base by 2 1 by 2 will come out okay or let me calculate voltage regulation for 1 by n full load 1 by n times full load is going to be 1 by n ifl a uh, one by n, I, uh, one by n IFL. So one by n will come out one by n into R e per unit cos theta two plus or minus x e per unit sin theta two. Okay, this equation has to be remembered. In my next session, I will discuss about maximum voltage regulation, zero voltage regulation, and how to remember actually. Okay, the analysis will be there, analysis will be there always, but how to remember maximum voltage regulation, zero voltage regulation, and then we will enter into problems.